In this video, we're gonna speak about how you can design your application strategy to maximize your chances of success to end up with a top strategy consulting offer. So one of the first questions I try to explore whenever someone is reaching out to me is, where in the application process is that individual right now? Because there's a huge path dependency on how to position you in a strong way. And let's break down what exactly I'm referring to in the next couple of minutes. So we have already recorded a video here um, on the biggest mistakes that you could do in your application process and that is interviewing with your number one priority first. Because why would you do that, right? Every single thing you are doing new or you're doing from scratch or you're learning about will usually have its challenges. So if you have never done a case interview so far, don't start to practice with your number one priority. What you should do instead is building a staggered pipeline and making sure that you are going through this in a systematic way. So start first with identifying your number one priority. So what is the company that you would want to end up with? What's the functional expertise you're looking for? What's the geography you are targeting? And what is the likeliness that you could get an interview from that specific company? And once you have done this, ask yourself, okay, what companies do I now need to line up to be best prepared for my preferred strategy consulting firm? And once you have that list, try to apply from your lowest priority to your highest priority. And yes, this is not always working in the way you would have hoped it would work out. Because things are happening, right? Reality is happening in between. So one company is postponing interviews, the other company is calling interviews off, the third company is not interested in your profile, for the fourth company you cannot make the date or whatsoever. And that's fine, as long as you are not committing that mistake of going to your number one priority first, everything on the way can be fixed. And what you should then do is making sure that you do receive feedback from your companies on the way, on strength and also on weaknesses. But please make sure to discuss these feedback points then with someone who can calibrate them because only then they will be useful in a systematic way for you to show a different level of performance for your number one priority consulting firm. And that's essentially it. So don't interview with your number one priority firm first. Make sure you are having at least one or two, at best three or four interviews before that to test yourself, your own performance under real life conditions. The more similar these companies are to the ones that you want to land in, the better. And then number three, discuss the feedback on your real life performances with someone that can help you calibrate your performances and making sure that you're on a systematic way to improve, to maximize the chances to end up with your number one priority consulting firm. It is as easy as that. So if you've liked that video, smash that like button, make sure to subscribe to that channel. And if there is an open question, just use the comments below. See you soon.